Today let us solve this uh, three column cash book. This is one of the question asked in uh, final examination. Now this time also these type of questions may appear for uh, 12 marks in section C. Prepare three column cash book. In the problem they mention this uh, with the cash, discount and bank columns. Even though they are not going to mention so three column cash book they are going to mention it means both the side that is receipt side and payment side we are going to have three columns okay this is the receipt side one for discount one for cash and one for bank and this is the payment side we are going to have three columns one for discount one for cash and one for bank. So this is the credit side and this is the debit side okay so this type of cash book we are going to call in the name three column cash book the format you already know now write down the format and let us solve this problem these transactions now belongs to 2014 july okay and dates are also given cash in hand rupees 12,000 and bank rupees 3,200 so these are the opening balances for this particular month so they have to mention which type of balances are these that is either debit balance or credit balance if nothing is mentioned in the problem above the balances that means they are showing debit balances only okay but in connection with cash it has to mention always debit balance only it will never show credit balance cash debit balance means cash is there in our cash box to that extent value and zero means cash is not there and cash will never show credit balance that means without cash we cannot make payments okay that's why cash never shows credit balance but bank may show either a debit balance or a credit balance debit balance means our cash is there in the bank and we can withdraw this at any point of time credit balance means we already withdrawn more money what we have deposited okay if it is showing debit balance it appears under debit side or receipt side if it is showing credit balance it is going to appear under payment side or credit side okay this is in connection with opening balances so that we have recorded in three column cash book you can check up here see this is the three column format what we already discussed so in the in whose book we are writing in the books of business if name of the business is given that we are going to write here write the heading three column cash book for the month july 2014 and this is the date column this is the receipts or particulars we are going to write here so who have given the money so that we are going to write here in receipts column receipt number ledger folio discount allowed cash and bank this is receipt side or left hand side or debit side now one more side that is credit side or payment side or right hand side again this has columns date payments or particulars voucher number ledger folio discount received cash and bank now this is the first transaction we are going to write opening balance on 1st of july 2014 to opening balance brought down this is a cash balance of 12,000 and bank balance of 3,200. Now the next transaction it is happening on third bought goods for cash rupees 1,200 and by check rupees 1,800. Okay, this is one of the transaction in connection with bought of goods. What means purchases of goods? Okay. Here the name of the person is given that is Kiran and they told for cash 1200 for check 1800 and balance amount payable or not nothing is told in the problem so Kiran account we are not going to maintain here okay so we need to record this in cash column and in bank column so we are purchasing goods and we are making payment so this is one of the payments made that's why we need to record this under the payment side in both columns that is cash and bank so cash 1200 and bank 1800 so 
So this is we need to do. So we did the same in uh, three column cash book. Let us see how it is appearing. So this is what the transaction on uh, third we made purchases that we are going to write in payment or uh, particulars column. We made payment in the form of cash thousand two hundred in the form of bank in the form of check thousand eight hundred. This we need to record under payment side. Okay. Now let us see the next transaction. Next transaction here is happening on sixth uh, of July. Cash sales rupees thousand two hundred. That means we are making sales for cash. So sales have goods and we are receiving the cash. So for this transaction, we need to record this under receipt side in cash column for rupees one thousand two hundred. As here we are receiving the cash because of the sales made. So how we are going to record this? Let us see. Go to the cash book, three column cash book. So write the date that is sixth to sales account. We made sales and we are receiving cash of one thousand two hundred. So in receipt side in cash column we are going to record the value. So this is how we are going to record for this transaction. Now the next transaction. Next transaction. It is on ninth. Received a crossed check from Shreeni Vas of rupees two thousand. Okay, here one of the receipt of cash is made. That is in the form of check. And which type of check it is mentioned in the problem? That is crossed check. So in the previous video we discussed what is the meaning of ordinary check and what is the meaning of crossed check. And in the problem, if it is mentioned which type of check. So that is deposited on the same day or not? That information is missing. Then what to do? Everything is discussed in the previous video. You can see that and you can check out. Then in here, let us uh, discuss again. There are two type of checks. One is ordinary check, which looks like this. You may be seeing the check. Every detail will be there. The date. In whose name check has been written, and here is the amount and the amount in words, and somewhere here will be the signature, and this is the bank address. Okay, this is one of the ordinary check. The person who is going to receive this check, he can take this check and he can go to this particular bank, and he can present at the counter of the bank, and he can withdraw the money by using this particular check, or He can deposit the same into his bank account without going to the address of this check, that is bank address. He can go to his own bank and he can deposit to his account. That option he has. That is the person who is receiving the ordinary check. But if the ordinary, this ordinary same ordinary check converts into crossed check, when here in the left hand top corner. Two lines will be written. There we can see account payee. This may be written, may not be written. If they simply put two lines here, that means this is one of the crossed check. Okay. Now, by using this check, the person who is receiving, he can uh, he cannot withdraw at the counter of this particular bank. Okay, which address is mentioned on that particular check. What the person should do? He should take this particular check to his bank, and he should deposit to his account. Then, after some process, the amount what is mentioned in this check will directly transfer to the account of that person who is depositing this check. Okay, that is the meaning of crossed check. Crossed check means by using crossed check. We cannot withdraw cash at the counter of that particular bank, which is mentioned in this particular check. The in this address, which is mentioned in this particular check. Okay. So here, the check detail is given. That is received a cross the check of rupees two thousand. Okay. It is given by Shreeni Vas. So whenever cross the check is received, we should record this transaction. Under receipt side in bank column only, not in cash column. So that is what we did here. See, 
a ninth transaction is happening where receiving this cash from Srinivas to Srinivas account that we need to write in the chips column or a particular column and in bank column we need to record the amount 2000 rupees okay now the next transaction which is happening on 9th okay 9th it is over this is on 12th deposited into bank rupees 1200 okay what is this 1800 rupees so here what is happening this is one of the contra entry you know what is the meaning of contra entry okay let us see so contra entry means for the same transaction in three column cash book we are going to record both sides the ship sides also and payment side also of the same amount so one in cash column one in bank column okay one column we may increase one column we may decrease so these type of transactions we are going to call in the name contra entry okay now this normally happens when we deposit our cash into the bank or when we withdraw cash from bank for office purpose now here what has happened in this transaction deposited into bank 1800 so that here on 12th we are going to reduce the cash balance because from cash box we are deposited to the bank now cash is going out of the business cash balance need to be reduced that's why we are writing in credit side or payment side this is 1800 in cash column why we are reducing because we are depositing that into the bank so what we need to write here by bank account 1800 in cash column this is for reducing the cash balance on the same day this cash is going to the bank so bank balance should increase it should go up that's why we need to write under receipt side or debit side same day 12 1800 we have written under debit side in bank column why it is increasing because we are depositing the cash into the bank we need to write here to cash account so for the same transaction on 12th and 12th we are recording both side receipt side and payment side one account we are reducing one account we are increasing that transaction we are going to call in the name contra entry that is to be denominated by writing C in ledger folio column both sides C and C okay this is contra entry normally one or two transactions definitely will appear in this three column cash book in connection with contra entry you should understand this and you should know how to treat these type of transactions now the next transaction this is on 15th paid to Samir which is 1750 in settlement of 1800 so what is the total amount we are paying to Samir so this we need to record under payment side that is decided okay total amount payable it is 1800 but we are paying 1750 only as full settlement nothing is payable in future that means 50 rupee less we are paying so this is what one of the discount received okay so how this transaction appears this 1750 what actual payment we are making if you are making in the form of check we need to write in bank column if you are nothing is told in the problem how it is paid that means it is paid in the form of cash only so in payment side in cash column we need to write 1750 and what benefit we got in the form of discount received that we need to write in discount received card see how it is appearing it's going to appear in uh, three column cash book see here so we are making payment to Samir on 15th 
out of 1800 he paid only 1750 as full settlement so we are receiving discount of rupees 50 so in discount received column you need to write 50 and in cash column this is 1750 so in the problem in what form it is paid not mentioned if not mentioned means we paid in the form of cash only not in the form of check okay that is in connection with discount received and payment made transactions now the next end transaction it is happening on 18th so purchased furniture for cash from rajini rupees 1100 okay here we are what we are purchasing purchasing the furniture so this is not goods this is one of the asset okay and name of the person is given that is rajini but we are purchasing for cash okay so we are not going to maintain rajini account we are going to record this asset name in the cash book we are purchasing that means we are making payment payment is made in what form in the form of cash in which column we need to write this in cash column what is the amount 1100 which account name we need to mention furniture account okay that is what happened in three column cash book this is on 18th you can check up here so on 18th we are purchasing furniture you need to write by furniture account and we are making payment in the form of cash 1100 okay we should not write it real by purchases because we are not purchasing the goods we are purchasing the asset and name of the person is is going to appear are not the in this transaction name of the person is not going to appear because we already made the payment 1100 okay if it is a credit transaction furniture purchase on credit then this transaction is not at all going to appear in cash book this is going to appear in journal proper okay whenever there is actual receipt of cash whenever there is actual payment of cash they only appear in cash book okay now next transaction is happening on on 21st received rupees 1600 from Mahesh and allowed him discount rupees 50 now received we are receiving so first we should decide which should should appear it should appear under receipt side okay 1600 from Mahesh in what form it received cash or check not mentioned means we received in the form of cash so receipt side cash column how much amount we are receiving 1600 okay from whom we are receiving from Mahesh in particular columns Mahesh account should appear and we are allowing discount of rupees 50 okay don't confuse we are actually receiving 1600 and allowing discount 1650 50 rupees so total it is 1650 transaction don't simply deduct 1600 minus 50 what previously we did okay that is different this is different received totally 1600 and we are allowing discount 50 so this transaction should appear under receipt side in cash column and in discount column okay how much amount given 1650 the same we did in uh, account also in this cash book uh, let us see what we did this is one of the receipts line uh, this is Mahesh 21st see here <coughs> on 21st date to Mahesh account how much actual cash received 1600 what is the discount allowed 50 rupees so we are recorded this under receipt side now see the next tra transaction okay next transaction it is happening on uh, 23rd sent money money order to satish rupees 600 so basically it is one of the payment payment made in the form of cash in the form of sending money order okay so this is one of the cash payment this should be recorded under payment side to whom it is given it is given to satish what is the amount given 600 okay so under payment side and in cash column you are going to record this particular transaction 
the same we did here uh, let us see uh, how we record it see here on 23rd date is written to whom it is given satish in what form it is given in the form of cash okay that like that we need to record this transaction in cash column payment side to whom it is given satish now the next transaction it is withdrawal of cash from bank for office use again this is one of the contra entry now what is amount there in the bank that we are withdrawing which is coming to the cash box okay cash is not permanently going out of the business so bank balance need to be reduced cash balance need to be increased so this is to be recorded to increase we are going to write under receipt side to decrease we are going to write under payment side for the same transaction we are going to write both the sides that is receipt side and payment side one in bank column one in cash column that we are going to call in the name contra entry okay so this is what we did in this account in this cash book also see here this is on 25th first we are going to reduce the bank balance because we are withdrawing from bank 1300 rupees on the payment side in bank column we are going to write 1300 why because we are withdrawing the cash now the balance has been reduced the same balance is coming to my cash box 1300 my cash balance should increase that's why we need to record under receipt side in cash column 1300 why it is increased because we deposited this cash we are not depositing withdrawn and cash is coming to our cash box we withdrawn from the bank so bank account withdrawn from the bank which is coming to my cash box that's why cash balance need to be increased bank balance need to be decreased because we are withdrawing cash from the bank so bank balance to be decreased cash balance to be increased on the same day 25th for same transactions one account is reduced one account is increased this type of transactions we are going to call in the name contra entry so second entry happened in this uh, problem on 25th so next transaction paid lic premium by check rupees 700 if they pay given only insurance premium then it is one of the office expenses belongs to the business okay but they mention this as lic lic premium life insurance corporation so life insurance is taken on the life of the person now who is that person it is not mentioned here that means that is the owner only so a policy is taken in the owner's name for that policy they pay premium in the form of check rupees 700 so this is one of the personal transaction and this to be considered as drawings this is not the office expenses okay so we did the same in the ledger account in this cash account see here so on 30th that is on 27th by drawings 700 this is what insurance premium paid in the form of check that's why we are writing in bank column if it is paid in the form of cash we are going to write in cash column clearly mentioned in the problem it is through check it is 700 if nothing is mentioned paid in the form of cash we are going to write in cash column okay by drawings in bracket also for uh, information you can give lic premium like that it is not necessary actually or at the end as, as a note you can give information regarding why that item is treated as drawings now the last transaction check issued towards house rent rupees 1200 okay this is one of the expenses if it is only rent then it is office rent okay but here they clearly mention this is house rent house belongs to whom belongs to owner 
so again this is one of the personal expenses any personal expenses paid to be treated as drawings this is what one of the trick in this problem right tricky so you should be very careful you should read the transaction understand then you should make the treatment so here in this problem we are making the payment okay in the form of check so where it should appear it should appear under payment side in which column it should appear in bank column you need to record this transaction what you need to write in particulars or details column drawings account what is the value 1200 so this is what we did here uh, let us see how we recorded here so on 30th by drawings we paid in the form of check again that is 1200 recorded in the bank column Okay, regarding this also you can give a, a, a note at the end why you, you treated this as drawings so all the transactions here recorded then the next time is closing this particular account how to close this particular account if both are going to tally account is get closed if they are not going to tally they are may be showing some balances okay here in these three columns discount columns we are not going to find the balance just we are going to find the totals here discount allowed 50 rupee discount received 50 rupee both side we are getting 50 rupee only and this is one of the expenses and this is one of the income which should go to the trial balance okay in cash account definitely it should show debit balance or the total should tally each other before that so check up here which side is more normally debit side will be more it is 16,100 write the total in cash column receipt side and write the same under payment side 16,100 from that total you are going to deduct all these items which you return under credit side in this cash column okay up to this so if you deduct 1200 1800 1600 from 16100 you are going to get the balance of 9650 that is what you wrote here so that is the closing balance of cash book and becomes opening balance for the immediate next period for august 1st to opening balance brought down 9650 that is in connection with cash in the same manner bank column also you need to find the balance okay here bank column may show either debit balance or credit balance that's why so you should find which side it is showing more total the total is more so here in this problem debit side only it is showing total uh, more total that is 7000 the same you are going to write in credit column 7000 from that you are going to deduct these items which you are recorded under payment side of three column cash book in bank column 7000 minus 1800 minus 1300 minus 700 minus 1200 you are getting the balance of 2000 rupees so bank column also is showing the debit balance now this 2000 becomes the opening balance for the immediate next period that is 2000 rupees for august 1st like this this cash book continues so cash book is one of the subsidiary book also and account also it plays the dual role okay so like this we need to prepare this three column cash book so there go. first write down the problem so listen the discussion what we have done here then understand everything and record one by one in three column cash book so how video is go going on in the same way we are going to prepare okay understand it after finishing so close the book see the problem again and start doing yourself so through practice you can learn this three column cash book one definite question will be there for 12 marks in your final examination so where you need to concentrate in connection with contra entries and in connection with a receipt of check is it ordinary check or account pay check and it is deposited on the same day or cashed on the same day so getting the clarity and also in connection with the expenses paid 
it is for office purpose or for personal purpose right so if you understand this much easily you can do these type of problems and in this problem for contra entry we have written in the same line okay by leaving these places it is not necessary that to contra entry to be recorded in the same line just for understanding purpose here we did like this in examination continuously you can do or you can do like this also no problem okay what is important you should know the transactions is it receipts or payments which are the contra entry which are the office expenses which are the personal expenses which type of receipt is received if it is received in the form of check it is an ordinary check or account pay check and what is the treatment we need to make so if we have clarity regarding this easily you can do this three column cash flow okay all the best